What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. Alright, guys, I've been doing a lot of work off camera. Um, nothing crazy, mostly mining and building you've already seen, building towers you've already seen me build. Um, but I am going to give you guys a bit of a tour to show you what's going on, first of all. Um, here we go with my forges, you know, just banging out a bunch of cement. You'd be surprised how much cement you need for 20-something towers. <laughs> Or maybe you wouldn't be. I don't know. Maybe not. But this is what I got going on in all these bad boys. Um, 61 minutes. 52 minutes. You know what? Let's go ahead and drop some more stuff in here. There we go. We're going to get that over 100 minutes. I usually like to keep my forges over 100 minutes. When they've got this much stuff in them. And they've got um, quite a bit of quite a bit of stone. Quite a bit of stone. I also got a good amount of uh, iron while I was down there. Which is cool. And I don't think there's anything in there. I think what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to do some more crushed sand. Yeah, let's do the crushed sand last. There's no point in making crushed sand ahead of time. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. And where have I been getting all the stone, you may ask? Don't worry. You're going to find out. <laughs> oh, yes. You are going to find out. All right. 5,000 um, divided by 3. So it's about um, 2, 4, 6. So about 1,800 roughly. Doesn't have to be exact, but I do like to divide them as much as I can. 100... And 1400. Okay, so it's pretty close. Maybe 16 or 17. Would have, well, 16. Yeah. All right, whatever. I'm not going to get bogged down in math. Um, so there you go. So we got that stuff all going. And what did we run out of? Uh, we actually ran out of the, um, the cement. Okay. So we're going to get a lot more cement. This cement needs to start really banging out. We're going to put some more stone in there. Just have this thing going just like crazy. Like gangbusters. Go. And there we go. 100 minutes on each. Okay, they're all looking good. And then what I'll do is I'll put the rest of this in here as sand. And we'll just do that. Uh, getting stone is the easy part, man. Like, that's like the cement is what takes so long. Um, so I just like to get that stuff going as much as possible. And then I lose track of it. Next thing you know, I don't have enough. It's always the way it works. Always the way it works. All right, we're going to need a uh, probably want to get some more logs going. Uh, a lot of people ask why I use logs instead of regular wood. There's no bonus to logs. Like, back in the day, you could burn stuff like, um, like frames. And the amount of wood you put into the frames, the frames would burn longer than the amount of wood you put into it. That's not the case with logs. Um, logs take 10 wood, and they burn for 10 wood worth of time. The reason I do logs is just because it's easier to put, like, a few logs in there than, like, 50-something pieces of wood, which is just, just annoying. So, it's just easier to do it that way. Alright, I do not feel like sorting stuff, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of drop the stuff in here for now. And, okay. So we've been doing a lot of augering. Let me show you what I've been augering. Is that a, is that a term? I don't know. Probably. Um, here... Oh, you know what? I also needed... Uh, do I need torches? I think I need torches. Alright, yeah. I'm going to want to make some torches. I don't really worry about screamers at this point. I haven't seen a screamer in a long time. I, I don't really know what's going on with them. But, you know... I'm not going to complain about it. That's for damn sure. So we're just going to make a bunch of torches. I'd like to get some electricity going downstairs. But torches are a lot easier. So I'll just do torches for the time being. Let's just do 25. And put that back there. And put that back there. Alright. So let me show you what I got going on downstairs. Because this is where I've been... This is where I've been getting all the stone from. I had to move the um the walkway downstairs. The, uh, the ladder. Because it was not... Like, where I wanted it to be. Now it's straight in the middle of the hallway. So I got a hallway down here now. It's going to be um, a 3 by a three by 4, I think. 3 wide, 4 high. Alright, and we're just going to put that right there. And we'll just put this over here for some more light. There we go. Now it's starting to look a little bit better. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be 4 wide on this side, 4 wide on this side. That's 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's going to be 11 that way. And I'll probably make it 11 the other way as well. And what I do is, I just come on down here, and I just, um, you know, drive down the hallway. Now you might be asking yourself, why is Cage making a hallway like this? What, what's the point? Well, the point is, I'm going to keep going south, and who knows, maybe eventually, I'll hook it up with the Horde base. An underground tunnel from my main base to the Horde base. Hey, if you're going to dig out stone, you might as well be working towards something, right? I'll probably never get there, but... It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. 
All right, so we're gonna put that there, and there we go. All right, so what I wanted to do today, guys, is I wanted to do a um, a loot run video. I want to do two loot, loot run videos in a row, and uh, just bang out some loot runs because we've been doing a lot of building, and I love building, but you know, it gets to be a point where you gotta you gotta mix it up a little bit. All right, but the problem is, um, I, I I did a lot off camera, so I want to go show you what's going on. And I didn't want to do that before a loot run video. So um, I'm thinking I, I might change my mind. Like I change my mind 20 times a day. Um, so I might change my mind. Just keep that in mind. But as of right now, I plan on the next two videos after this video to be loot run videos. You know, we'll see how that goes. Spend some time down there doing some mining. And let me show you what I got going on now. All right. These things are all filled up. 130 minutes full of stone. Um, just got freaking concrete pouring out which is great because i'm gonna need a lot of it do i have enough uh rebar 336 uh, you know i might not uh, why don't we do this why don't we make some rebar really quick because we are actually going to need uh quite a bit of rebar all right we're gonna go ahead and make some i might not <clears throat> i might not wait for the rebar either <clears throat> i don't know if i want to wait for it so let's go ahead and do that and then uh, go to resources cement all right, let's take that. We got 3 377. It should be enough. It should be enough for this video. I mean, if you think I'm crazy, I'm like going through a lot of rebar. By the way, when I was up uh, doing stuff in my chest, there was a zombie standing right behind me. I shit you not. I was up here in my chest doing my thing. Actually, I was in the forges, and then I heard something. I was like, "Yeah, it sounds like a zombie. How about that?" And then when I turned around, there was a hard hat zombie standing right there. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it wasn't attacking me. It was weird. I broke through here, so I just wanted to replace that. Uh, although, without spikes on the other side, it's not going to do much good. So, it is what it is. Let's get going. I am also going to have to go get some um, uh, some oil shale pretty soon. Because I am getting low on gas. I think I'm down to my last 20,000 units of gas. Which, I know sounds like a lot. and It, it kind of is, but... Yeah, I'm still going to have to get some more gas soon. I don't, the last thing I want to do is run out of gas. The funny thing is, the thing that I need the gas most for, well, honestly, the Jeep is probably the thing I need the gas most for, but the um, the thing I, like, well, if I run out of gas, I'll be in a shitload of trouble, is my traps at my horde base. And the funny thing is, like, the, the generators do not take a lot of gas at all. Like, I mean, it's incredible how fuel efficient the generators actually are. Man, my ribs are killing me in real life, guys. Okay, so I I was taking out some. You know what? I'll tell you that story in a minute. Let me um let me do the uh, the tour for you guys. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do with the tour is I'm gonna show you a bird's eye view because you can't quite get the 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 awesomeness of this base unless you look at it like this, and that's what I'm looking at right now at the base. All right, this is what I've been doing off camera. I'm doing it on stream. All right, so that's what we're looking at right now. Let me go down there and give you a little bit more of an up close and personal um, look. DM mode, DM mode. I don't remember how to get up there. Um, I guess the best way for me to get up there would be this way. There we go. Yep. So this is what I got going on, guys. Look at this. Check it out. Got this all the way around to here. I mean, the 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 the, uh, the towers are not done yet. They still need some more, you know, building up to, to finish. But I think we're getting close. I really do think we're getting close. And then over here is the drop-off. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Because my, my, my initial idea with this is this is going to be an empty hole just like it is. And I'm going to have a drawbridge going across it so I can drive my vehicle in. All right. Now, will zombies jump in there? They really shouldn't. Um, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but I'm hoping they won't jump in there. We'll see. Uh, I don't see why zombies would jump in there on Horde Night. It doesn't make any sense because they... Well, the, period. They just, should, they just shouldn't. <laughs> okay. And then uh, I got it going around all the way around that side too. So that's where we're at. So let's get to some building, right? All right. So back to my ribs. Dude, so get this. I'm, I'm at work and I'm carrying out a bunch of boxes and I'm holding them over the front of my face so I can't see where I'm going. Yep, yep. You know it's going to be a good story when I start off like that. Actually, there's not much to it. But what I did was when I was walking out, I walk very fast. I'm from New Jersey. We don't have time. I walk fast. You can ask my wife if you don't believe me. Um, 
she's got little legs and she has trouble ke keeping up. So I walk fast. All right, so I'm walking, boxes in front of my face, and there's these big pillars, these like big pillars. They're not tall, they're only about like chest height. Um, they come out of the ground and they're, they're like concrete pillars. And they're, they're basically there, so in case a delivery guy, like, it, like this is the back of our store, so it's where we get deliveries. So, like, delivery trucks pull up to our the back of our store, and these, like, these concrete pillars are made there to keep trucks from driving into the store in case, like, the, you know, the driver isn't paying attention, right? So, I walk right into it, chest first, boom. You don't even know the impact, like... I just, I walk very fast. Plus I just got, I just got done coming down some stairs. So I had momentum. So I'm just, I'm just flying, right? Boom, right into it. I couldn't believe it. It hurt so much initially. I was like, oh my God, did I hurt myself? And I was like, oh no. Okay. I feel fine. No problem. Like a day later, my ribs start hurting. Like, like right now it's like, it's like just the very top of my ribs and um, it's going around to the side. Oh man, it freaking hurts. And like, it's not like excruciating pain. It's more like, it's more like that kind of pain. Like that's like makes you uncomfortable, you know, like there's pain, like there's cracked, broken rib pain. And then there is like bruised ribs, which is what I have. I think, um, I didn't go to a doctor. I'll, I'll walk it off, rub some dirt on it. I'll walk it off. Um, but yeah, I mean, people told me who had cracked and like broken ribs, you would know it. You wouldn't be able to breathe. It would be excruciating pain. And this isn't excruciating pain. Um, it's more like uncomfortable, like kind of like thorn in the side type pain. It's just more, more annoying than anything, but man, it's, um, it's uncomfortable. It really is. So I guess, uh, I need to watch where I'm going, right? It's a dangerous world out there. Got freaking viruses trying to take us out. Got freaking concrete poles getting in my way, breaking my ribs or at least bruising them. Speaking of the virus, man, anyone, you guys having problems with this? Like, you know, not, not just catching the virus. How are you, how is you guys jobs doing? Are you guys okay with your work? Let me know in the comments. Um, my wife's, my wife's work said that she's solid. She don't have to worry about it. My job, not so much. Um, my boss said he's going to try and do whatever he can to stay open. We work in a food industry, uh, you know, bagels and coffee in the morning. And he's going to do whatever he can to stay open, but, um, it's been really slow. And if it gets to the point where he can't afford to pay the people that work there, you know, He's going to have to, you know, close up until all this stuff is, is over. Um, and it, and it, it kind of sucks, right? Because, like, because, like, if, if basically, if he closes, it's really going to hurt his business a lot. Um, we had a fire there, like, um, about 10, 15 years ago. And he was closed for 10 months. And it took him a long time to come back from that. You know, because, you know, if you, if you like, close up, people go somewhere else. And then they just keep going somewhere else. They don't come back. You know, or it takes a long time for them to come back. They have to basically get bored of the other place or something has to happen that the other place messes up or something. So I told him, I told him, I said, listen, man, if you can afford to pay us, just keep the place open. It's not like he's going to save any money if he closes it. He'll save money on, um, on staff. Like he won't have to pay us, but that's it. He's still got to pay his rent. He's still got to pay his electricity. All, every single bill he has in that place, he's still got to pay. So I told him, I said, if you're not losing money, you really should stay open. And I'm not just saying that because I want a job. I'm just saying because, you know, it's 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 really, really tough to close up like that and come back from that. It's very, very difficult. So we'll see where that's going. I'm probably going to try for unemployment, um, even though, like, I'm still working there. I'm not working there full like I was before. So I'm thinking I could probably get some unemployment for that. And God forbid if he decides to shut it down till this is all said and done, um, you know. That's going to be bad as well. Uh, and then I get full unemployment. So, and um, yeah, I still work on YouTube, but it, it doesn't matter. I could still get unemployment um, because, you know, I, I don't do YouTube. Like the only YouTube is not the only thing I do to pay my bills. So when that stuff is not there, you know, I paid into unemployment. It's part of the reason my, um, my, my taxes are so high when I, when I do my taxes for YouTube because um, I'm paying my own unemployment tax. I think, I think my boss pays for part of that. Um, and so, like, if, I, if I'm, like, self-employed, then it's up to me. It's just all me, so. It's rough, guys. It's rough. I have someone that comes into my, uh, comes into my streams and told me his wife probably has it. The, what, COVID, COVID-19, is that what we're calling it now? I don't know, whatever. The awful virus. Um, and he's, like, she works, she, I think she's, like, a nurse or something. 
and she works uh she works with people you know have it and they think she may have it. she's been a, she had a fever she's had a fever for days now and um it's hovering about 100 she's kind of struggling breathing but not not like serious uh she's got asthma i mean it's just awful i tend not to talk about it too much because you know this is escapism. You, know, you guys are here to forget about that kind of stuff, but I figured I'd mention it. Just people are asking, you know, how are we doing? And, you know, we are fine, you know, and uh, mostly thanks to you guys on YouTube and, and Patreon and Twitch. All you guys' support by watching videos financially, whatever you can do. Um, it's amazing. And that's really given us peace of mind. So I was just talking to Autumn today. I was like, worst case scenario, we're good. Because YouTube will, you know, help us out until, you know, we can get another job or, you know, whatever. It's been great. So, I'm very happy about that. There's a lot of people who are not as fortunate as us. So, got to think about those people. Uh, there we go. And copy rotation. Come on, man. Oh, I picked it up. What the fudge? What the fudge and fudge is this? Copy mother effing rotation, please. Thank you. I'm gonna watch a movie tonight, I think. What should I watch? So my my um my uh <laughs> my boss um is like ten years older than me and he's he's mortified that I've never seen Caddyshack. I'm forty three. Caddyshack is kind of in my age bracket, but not entirely. You know, it's a little bit before me and I just never watched it. My my parents had me watching stuff like Die Hard, um you know, Friday the 13th. Uh, what else did my parents have me watch? Uh, Lethal Weapon. Stuff like that. Actually, I think it was mostly my brother. My stepbrother. But, um, yeah. That's what I was watching. I never saw Caddyshack. So, he's telling me I should watch Caddyshack. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, I think what I really want to watch is Dawn of the Dead. The 1978 version. Because I've been doing my No More Room in Hell series. It's really got me to move to watch that. I just... I kind of want Autumn to watch it with me. But I, I don't think she'd like it. It's not really scary, you know, it's like, it's not like super scary. It's just, you know, it's a zombie movie. I don't think she's really into those. But maybe, we'll see. She's, all she's in, all she's into right now, my, my crazy wife, all she's into is Animal Crossing. Animal, she heard that. Yeah, she's working from home, by the way. So, her job's, her job's awesome. They're like, we got you. Don't worry, you guys, you guys are solid. Work from home. We'll make it happen. And she's getting a lot of work done. It's been great. It's been great. Making the best out of a bad situation. All right. Let's uh, let's start upgrading this stuff. I probably shouldn't even have put the corners in. Because I, I want to upgrade the, the main... Oh, I was supposed to turn this up, wasn't I? I turned it down when I was using the auger at the beginning of the episode. But... There we go. So yeah, I think the next two episodes... I think they're going to be loot runs. And I'm thinking no more quests. I think I'm just going to um, just find interesting POIs. Because the thing is, if I do quests, it's going to take me the same POIs. I, I wouldn't be opposed to doing the um, uh, the hospital again. Because I haven't done the hospital a lot. But I've done all the other ones quite a bit. I mean, I guess I could do the bookstore again. Just because that seems like the whole bread and butter of this series. But I don't want to do any of those other ones. I have one for the apartment building. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I don't know. We gotta look. We gotta look around. Maybe I just. I should just hit up random buildings, at this point, right? I'm kind of upset that I didn't use the nitrogen map generator for this world. I used the nitrogen map generator for a world I started on. Well, actually, guys, the um the No More Room in Hell series was used by. I used nitrogen to make that world, and um, I mean it's been fantastic. Although you don't get to see the the coolness of it in that world. But um, I do have a stream world, one that I do on uh, Twitch, that's just for Twitch. And um, I play that one like maybe once a week, twice a week or something. And uh, that one's a nitrogen world that I've been exploring. Oh my god, guys. The nitrogen map generator is legit. You guys really have to look into it. Um, you could set stuff like, you know, your POI setups and like get a lot of towers. And my nitrogen world, like I can look off, I can look off into the distance and see at least two towers at any given point. I mean, there's just towers everywhere. All kinds of towers. Old school towers, new towers, all the towers. It's freaking fantastic. All right, guys. I think we have gotten a lot of work done there. I have about a thousand concrete mix left. Let's just go ahead and use the rest of this up now. Just so I can say I've used it all up. Okay. 
Looking good. I still don't know what I'm going to do with these towers. Um, I, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm going to mention it again. This is not going to be every tower. As a matter of fact, I won't make this again. <laughs> it's too much time, too resource intensive. Probably won't make it again. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with these towers. I'll probably make these towers just basic. Um, maybe I'll get back to them at some point. But honestly, like I think by the time I get, every, I get this entire compound done, uh, you know, this place is going to be so badass. I don't think I need to make any other changes, but we'll see. We'll see. I kind of take it by ear, see where it goes. Oh, forgot to do these. Uh, okay. Oof. Glad I have enough. Okay, let's do this. All right. And that looks pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so there's uh, one thing I want to try over here. Um, a couple people were saying to put the hatches down on the side and only have them open when you want to walk past them. So i never done that before. <clears throat> so let's give it a try. It would have to open up. It would have to be upside down. Um, it would have to be flat against the wall. Yeah, okay. All right. Hold on. Uh, like that, right? Yeah. That's what you guys are talking about. Yeah, that is much better. That is much better. I like that so much better. Thank you for that tip. Hell, hell's to the freaking yeah. There we go. And then just have them up. It's much cleaner. Much cleaner. Oh, fantastic. Just fantastic. Another thing people wanted me to do is they wanted me to use wedges. Wedges and wedge tips. Ugh, gross. Gross, I don't have one of those. Mm, can I do it with this? I might be able to. Let's see. Yes, I can. Okay, so wedges. So I guess we put that right there or move this out one more and put it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put that there. And put. we're going to put one over here as well. And then what we'll do is we'll grab some wedge tips. Just a tip. There you go. And then this one like so. And then we break this out. And then we could just put uh we gotta hold down the R button. I'm still getting used to that. Put that down right there. Yeah, that works. Works for me. And then um probably put some of these in like this. Like that, and like that. Okay. Yeah, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And then um, I think we'll put some of these here, here, here. What's the point of all these? I don't know. No point. I just think it looks cool. I'd like to put some on this side too, but I don't think I can. Well, actually, yeah, I can. Hold on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Let's go ahead and grab that and that. Break this out. That should fall, but that's okay. And then we'll do this like this. This is all just to look cool. None of this really matters. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm, then I can't put anything down there. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna leave the way it was before. Yeah, I think it's fine like that. Like that. I don't know. It, it looks pretty cool. I'd still like to put some on the inside. I just don't know how I'd do that. I don't think there's any real way to do that. Well, there is a way. There is a way. What we could do is... We could use these. Like this. Alright, so we'll break this out. Break that out. Put this like this. And then... We could put these over here. It's overkill, it's pointless, but I still like it. Anything like that. Take that out, and that. 
Yeah, all right. All right, I think that's pretty cool. We got a nice little walkway up here. And then we go like that, and there ain't jack shite they can do about it. Cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Might even upgrade it. Who knows? The thing is, I don't want zombies getting caught on this and breaking it out, but whatever. Even if I upgrade it and they do that, it's not the end of the world. All right, guys. Well, got a lot of work done here today. The towers are pretty much all done. Um, and we could still got a lot of concrete being made, huh? What are we going to do with all that concrete? Well, we've got two more pieces of bloodbath beyond to make. So I'm pretty sure we'll find some room for that concrete. Anyway, oh, one other thing I wanted to, I wanted to discuss really quickly before we move along. Let me grab some iron. Hopefully there's some in here. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Got any iron? Uh, really? No iron? I must have brought it all home. All right. Well... Someone was mentioning that the cop puke is going to destroy these bridges very easily, but don't forget, guys. I was gonna, I was gonna upgrade it on sh on camera um, right now to show you what's going to happen. But what's going to happen is I'm going to upgrade it um, to iron, and then once it's upgraded to iron, cop puke won't destroy it nearly as easily. So um, I don't think cop puke is going to be destroying these bridges that much. I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. We're going to call this one here. If you're enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.